This vacant lot at the corner of Terminal Avenue and Commercial Street, considered an eyesore by many, is now owned by the City of Nanaimo and is about to get a major facelift. It's the heart of downtown Nanaimo. Buying the Gene Burns site and the adjacent sites as part of a larger redevelopment of the downtown is crucial, we think, to our future success. The city has also purchased the two adjacent sites and is considering a bus loop, a public plaza and bike lanes. The city is seeking input on what should happen on the property. Obviously, council has some interest. Certainly, transit is, is a significant consideration, uh, but it's a, it's a fairly large site that we've assembled now uh, and a site with enormous potential for revitalization in the downtown core. The former Jeans Burns building was destroyed by fire in 2016. The property's owner says there was then a protracted fight to get a proper insurance payout, and after a pandemic shutdown, they were planning to redevelop the property when the city served them a notice of expropriation. We had already told the city that we weren't interested in selling to the city or anybody else until we could obtain a accurate value of the city based on future needs. We have been prevented from doing that. So the price of the property that we sold it to the city may not necessarily be what the value of the property may have been if we were allowed to continue. The purchase price hasn't been disclosed, but the property was assessed at more than $830,000. Well, my message here to the city is why don't you work with property owners and developers downtown? Come and talk to us and ask us what we want instead of taking a small sampling of what do you think the public wants. The Victoria Crescent Association says it supports the revitalization with one caveat. Well, the number one thing uh, for revitalization, and the downtown does need it, that's for sure, is safety. Uh, number one, we've all got to feel safe. The city will collect public input this summer with construction starting next year.